Hello and welcome to this lockdown learning video where we're going to take a look at how you can take the MIDI patterns from chord pads and import them into a track. So this is really combining media bay and chord pads so finally you're ready for this knowledge. It's pretty simple I've got a track already set up so we've got Halion Sonic here it's just playing on uh, an acoustic piano sound because that's nice and straightforward for showing off arpeggiated figures etc. And if we go to chord pads, so if you're not sure about chord pads, then just look at the video in the channel. That will get you up to speed. But here we can see these chord pads and they are currently playing in. Straightforward. This is the default mode when you load them up. We're going to just see the setup here. So you click the E and player mode here has been changed from playing chords to pattern. So here I've actually loaded this pattern up already. So there are hundreds if not thousands of them to go through this one is good for demonstrating what i want to show you today so ballad chorus a piano so now when we play the pads on screen you get the intro of your tori amos song that you're writing or whatever so this may be something you want to use on your track directly and you can do this pretty easily now you know how media bay works so we've got that ballad Chorus A piano. So this is the thing we're interested in. So once you've loaded your MIDI loop up, then that's the information you need. Now to look for this, you're going to need to go to Media Bay. So open up Media Bay. That's done with F5 on the keyboard. And the important thing is that all media is selected here. So this makes sure that Media Bay is indexing everything. It's the best way to make sure you're not going to miss out on the thing you're looking for. And now we can do ballad chorus here and you can see straight away that's appeared in here so just by putting in two words ballad and chorus we can see these midi files here so we've got these midi loops and we want to drag these onto the track and the easiest way to do that i'm going to move this over if you've got a bigger monitor then you'll just be able to do it straightforward but i'm just moving this over so you can see the relevant part and dragging it to the track so i'm just going to pick up Ballad, Chorus A, Piano, click and drag here, and that's it. So this is the actual part. So what we were hearing in chord pads was just the beginning of this, but actually we get the whole thing. So I'm just going to get rid of the chord pads for the moment and expand this so you can see it a bit better. And we can see these breaks. So initially it looks like you've just got this solid thing, but actually you can see, and you'll hear in a second when I play it, that this is an arpeggiated figure. And if we look at that in the MIDI editor, you can see it's got a nice amount of variation of velocity, etc. So it's been nicely played. It's not just, you know, chunks of MIDI with everything the same so you can see there's a nice bit of variation in there as you'll probably find with most of the included MIDI loops so once you've got that you can play with that all you like so you can see you get a different result with the chord pads playing a MIDI loop than when you import it directly because I think chord pads just loops part of it it's not necessarily the first bar I think it's the first bar on this one but I've had others where it definitely loops a longer part of it but you can see it's definitely a different result. And obviously you'd need to adapt this to the chords you were using. So one of the things that Chord Pads does is it will uh, effectively transpose it to a, a not only a new root note, but also new tonality. So it will change this from major to minor. So if we look at the notes of this chord here and zoom in, We can see that this is a C minor chord because we've got C, E flat, D sharp, but E flat really, and G. But when we play it on the chord pad, we get the major version of it. Let me just switch over to chord pads and then play that. So like with the F. So chord pads are doing some work behind the scenes to make sure you get the chord you're actually looking for and just using effectively using the MIDI loop as inspiration. But that's how to take those MIDI loops once you've found the ones you like and load them into a track and then obviously 
you'll probably find a different source of inspiration from there, but you're always free to record the original core pad version anyway, as seen in the video. So I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again soon.